Now, South Africa and Comoros have successfully co-hosted a two-day AU Third Men's Conference on Positive Masculinity and Leadership to End Violence Against Women and Girls, which started on Monday. Under the theme, Consolidating Commitments Towards the African Union Convention on Ending Violence Against Women and Girls, the conference adopted laws and policies aimed at eradicating gender-based violence in Africa. Addressing the gathering, South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa urged men to play their part in helping to fight the surge of gender-based violence. Now, the platform also assessed the progress made by male leadership across respective sectors and to articulate specific, specific priorities to decisively end the surge. As New Central's Bogani Sinzaba tells us more. A groundbreaking event attracting dignitaries from across the globe all united in their commitment to address gender-based violence against women. As they delved into the discussions and initiatives, it was clear that this conference represents a significant step forward towards creating a safer and more equal world. This conference, therefore, is about challenging traditional stereotypes with being a man. It involves redefining norms and expectations placed on men. Positive masculinity encourages men to embrace qualities such as empathy, vulnerability, emotional intelligence, and respect for diversity. Our journey has now reached a pivotal moment. The African Union Summit this year made also a historic decision to negotiate the EU Convention on Ending Violence Against Women and Girls. This convention, it has to be based on solid and, and unequivocal conviction. That is why it is important, if not critical, to have our champions, heads of states and government, more involved in the discussion and, uh, and more present in our midst. Through stimulating presentations and interactive discussions, attendees shared their experiences, best practices, innovative solutions to address this inexcusable menace. And we are here to support the process because it's the process that calls for equal, equality between men and women and also against the violence against women. It's time to change the power dynamics. It's time to ensure women are protected. It's time to ensure that we achieve gender equality. The conference was not limited to discussions alone. Those in attendance were equipped with practical tools to actively combat gender-based violence. From bystander intervention to raising awareness through social media campaigns, the workshop aimed to empower attendees to make lasting impacts in their societies. Meanwhile, women also commended the strides that men are taking in fighting the scourge. However, they believe there are still some gaps. The purpose of the uh, we're seeing a lot of women trying to break through the glass ceiling, but the difficulty is when you have a situation where certain levels of violence, whether it's verbal abuse or online bullying, are normalized, then it creates the impression that you're just complaining. So to do this is to actually call it out. As the conference came to an end, the underlying message was that everyone must put in their efforts as the continent of Africa strives to rectify and adopt an AU convention that seeks to eliminate violence against women. With the surge of gender-based violence cases around the globe getting higher every day, taking a stand against this deeply rooted problem has become more critical. Wangani Siziba, for News Central TV, Pretoria.